What's up, everybody? Sunday Sessions, episode 30, here to deliver you some heat about building a successful Amazon business. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Look forward to seeing you in future lives. Stay tuned, stay lit. What's everybody doing right now? It's 537 over in New Jersey. Sure, we got people joining from all over the world. If you're just joining here, let me know where you're from. Go Cam, what's up, brother? Ethan, what's good? Damn, we're each sellers are eye heavy right now. Inner circle as well. What's up? What's up, my friend? So listen, y'all got me for a couple minutes. This is your time, right? I dedicate a certain amount of time every week to give specifically to y'all, right? To provide as much value as possible. So I'm here, drop your questions in the chat. Vegas, yeah, we're going to Vegas. We'll be at ASD 100%. I hope literally, if you sell on Amazon and you're in this chat right now, I, I hope you're going to Vegas too. It's worth it, right? You wanna be a part of the industry. The best way to be a part of something is to immerse yourself in it, all right? And the way I like to immerse myself in, in things is by actually showing up to them and being accountable and being present and getting uncomfortable. You know, you guys are wondering and girls are wondering where's the profitable products it's at trade show. So definitely, definitely, if you sell on Amazon, take a trip to ASD. It's worth it. Write it off the travel, the food, airfare, hotel, everything. Write it off as a business expense and head out to ASD. We'll also be having a trade show walkthrough too. So we'll be posting some more information about that as well. Dublin in the house, Louisiana, LA, Venezuela. We got people from all over the world in here. Uh, how do we handle replenishing items? So like a replenishable item, how do we handle when to know when to reorder it, right? So there's great softwares out there like So Stocked or Restock Pro, which will actually track your sales and let you know how many days of inventory you have left. So you'll be able to better gauge when you need to place that reorder based on your lead times from your vendors, right? So let's say for example, uh, supplier has a lead time of two weeks to get the product to you and then you add a couple days to get it to Amazon so let's call that lead time three weeks right and your inventory you're down to 10 days it's time to place another order for that product or else you're going to go out of stock um, but yeah you could we essentially we use our repricer we built a repricer and we use that data but essentially it's pulling the same data it's pulling you know your available quantity in Amazon and then it's comparing it to how many units you're selling a day and then it's dividing what you have left by your average um, order sales per day and it's saying you have this many days of inventory left I was just at the the fancy food show out in New York that was great I was there last weekend, Sebastian went, Ted went, one of our buyers went. It was amazing, I didn't I didn't create, I didn't make any deals happen, I didn't, there was no monetary exchange from the event, but I went because I wanna be immersed in the industry. I wanna know what new products are dropping, I wanna know what new companies are out there, I wanna know the existing companies, what new product lines they've introduced to the industry, and the only way to do that is to be there. Do you use Restock Pro or SoStock? We don't use either. But I know a fair share of our community, they're 50-50, Restock Pro, so stocked. It's, it's basically user preference on what it comes out for. Zuhair says, would love a phone call consultation, <laughs> but in person, if that's possible, since I am local. Yeah, listen, I, I, I'm i saying send me a DM, man. We can make something happen, but there's definitely a fee, you know? It's not like I just don't meet up for local people at coffee shops. Um, but if you would prefer to meet up in person opposed to a phone call, I'm sure we could arrange something for that. You know, send me a message on uh, Instagram. We used to do a lot of those. I think it was like a thousand bucks to an hour or something. This is when we first started doing consulting. This is really how I started helping people. Initially, it's just continuing to do what I, I do today is provide hella free value on all the socials. Um, but then I started doing one-on-one -on -one consultations and I did literally over a thousand one-on-one consultations in about two years and really gained the experience of working with people and understanding your pain points which is most important. In order to help people, you need to know their pain points. So when I was able to sit down with a, a thousand Amazon sellers over that two year period and learn all of your problems and then incorporate my experience of solving them 
into fixing your problems is really when it blew up. Do you find the new send to Amazon feature more simplistic and easier to use than the old feature? Well, I think, listen, it's, it's like anything new. It's like whenever something changes, you wish it was the old way. And then I forgot what change Seller Central made recently. I can't recall the change, but they made a change and I hated it. I couldn't stand it. Like a week went by, I completely forgot it even happened. I was just so used to it. It becomes commonplace at that point, you know? What are the most profitable categories we sell in? I'll just give you a list of the categories we sell in, which is all of them, grocery. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a list of the three that make up a majority of our, of our sales. It's grocery, personal care, and health and household. That makes up a majority of our sales revenue, probably 70 to 80%. The remaining 20 to 30% is assortment of toys, and baby, and sports and outdoor, automotive, industrial and scientific. It's a little spread out, um, but those are our, our money makers, the grocery. Uh, beauty and health and personal care. For anybody who's watching this, if your sales have slowed down, don't be concerned. Right now, we just had this conversation in our inner circle call, what was it, on Thursday, so just four or five days ago, and uh, it was amazing, right? We went on a lot of detail about how to properly manage this, but during this time, July and August, June, July and August, it's the slowest time of the year for wholesalers like me specifically. Now, if you're selling sp uh, summer specific products, now obviously this would be an increased time of year for you, but that's not us. We just sell everyday wholesale consumable products. So this is historically a slower time of year. So what we like to do is really focus on fixing our processes and securing our relationships with more distributors, getting rid of our excess inventory, really focusing on the business side of things in these next two months. We spend some time cleaning out our warehouse, dealing with returns, doing all that stuff that when you're in the middle of September through January, February, there's just not enough time because you're running around like a mad person because you're just so busy. Um, we like to use the end of June, July, and August, really the first half of August, for basically housekeeping stuff. So yeah, it's common that your sales will slow down. We see about a 15 to 20% decrease this time of year, and it makes sense, right? Kids are out of school, people are traveling, families are going on vacations, it just makes sense. Haven't hit a month yet, but should hit over 10K next month or two. Looking to hit 50K, amazing, amazing. And uh, damn it, if, if you're any sellers or I, when you hit those milestones, we ship you a dope fucking trophy too. You know, because hitting a milestone like that to achieve ten thousand dollars a month, or fifty thousand, or a hundred thousand, or five hundred thousand, a million—that is an accomplishment. I want to recognize your accomplishments and ship you something really cool. Oh yeah, that—that that was the change. Yeah, Maz, you knew, bro. So the change was the uh, when they switched the offers. You used to just click a little button, it'll pop up on a new tab. You well, in the same window, but a new page. Um, and now it's on the side. And now the side, I like the side. Side is just second nature to me. It's like the side is, is regular, you know? Yeah, there is a fake account. Please, if you are on Instagram, go to Instagram and report. It's Amazon two underscores lit, and then Amazon underscore lit with two Ts. They're DMing a lot of people. Listen, my friends, I gotta break out of here. I got some stuff I gotta take care of. It's been a pleasure and an honor spending the past 15, 20 minutes with you. Look forward to catching you in the future. Hopefully I bump in you somewhere, possibly ASD, maybe any sellers or I. Don't know, we're gonna have to find out. Catch you on the flip side, stay lit.